So um, today, obviously, we're going to talk about cultural issues, and Adrian has already introduced one of the first uh, principles, which is dominant traits. Okay, a dominant trait is a trait that is exhibited by a majority of people within uh, a company or a culture or an organization. And one of the first scientists to sort of uh, capitalize on that, if you will, was a Dutch social scientist named Geert Hofstede. Hofstede. I'm going to pronounce it Hofstede because that's easier for my uh, way of speaking. But uh, Geert was the uh, manager of personnel at IBM in the late 60s and 70s, and he conducted one of the first worldwide surveys on employee values. And uh, what he learned, if you think about it, IBM was an employer of a very similar set of people, okay, highly intelligent and technical minded, but nevertheless, uh, even correcting for large variations in individual traits, what he found was that they exhibited clear patterns based on their nationality and country of origin. So he was able to extrapolate that study into a larger uh, study which is called the Cultural Dimensions Theory, and that's what we're going to talk about for a little bit here uh, right now. So some of the cultural dimensions used to compare uh, dominant traits in different cultures are small versus large, power distance, weak versus strong, uncertainty avoidance, uh, individualism, and collectivism. And actually, there should be an asterisk to what next to the next one, time, because that was coined by a different researcher, an American named Edward uh, T. Hall, 